Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and today we're taking a look at how to clear wave 125 in the pet arena. There's a few things you can do to make this just a little bit easier, but it still has some RNG factors to be able to clear this successfully. But first thing I recommend is playing on a hunter with the Beastmaster talent, as you can get the arena spirit buff, and this will allow you to enter the arena uh, multiple times during a 10 minute time frame. This is usually enough to attempt it two to three times. But the other big thing that you get is a passive for plus 15% pet damage. There's also two more ways to increase your pet damage. The first is by using the meals in the dinner menu as the wedding cake here gives you a passive to your uh, pet damage. And as you can see, I have 20% more pet fighting damage and there's another meal as well that gives more pet fighting damage. The other thing you can get is an alchemy and in the vials electrolyte here can give you quite a boost to your pet damage as well. So using these bonuses it will help you do more damage and limit the RNG slightly. So this is the pet team that we're going to use to clear wave 125. However, there's a few mechanics that we need to know to be able to use this successfully. So we're going to go over each of the pets. And first is the Borger here. And this active ability is pretty much useless and can actually hurt us if we're using it because of the refiller. If we use this ability, then the refiller can prioritize going into the Borger, and that means we're not refreshing our Badum Dum or our looter as fast. So the main purpose for him is just as a tank. Next is the refiller here, and the refiller's ability gives you a five second buff that allows you to refill a random ability every time a non-basic attack lands. So with the Rattler and the Looter here, we can use this to refill all three of these abilities as fast as possible. This is only really useful until you have about three to 400 stacks of the Badum Dum, and then the refiller becomes less of a priority. However, I still would use it as much as you can without limiting your output of your Rattler and your Looter chest. So next is the Badum Dum, and this is what everything revolves around. It's building more attack speed. And for every stack of Badum Dum we have, it increases our basic attack speed. However, this ability only refreshes when a basic attack lands on an enemy. So we really need the refiller here to be able to refresh this more often early game. Next is the looter, and this is what our sustain and survivability comes from, as this can heal our pet with multiple different abilities, such as the forager ability, the breed ability buff, and as, as well as the miasma buff. So using all three of these, as well as the defender and shell buffs, to be able to sustain our team as much as possible. But we really need the attack speed and the refilling to be able to refresh this as often as possible for more sustain. And lastly is our Rattler, and this is where all of our damage comes from. But the only gimmick that you really need to know here is that you don't want to start using the Rattler's ability until you're around wave 50 to 60. If you use the ability too early, you'll clear waves too fast and you won't be able to get enough stacks of the Badum Dum before your pets start getting one shot. But with all that being said, let's get started with this and hopefully we can clear it today.
All right, so I was able to clear wave 125, and that allows me to unlock my sixth pet slot. This is a really big helpful for clearing the later waves in the pet territory battles, and I hope this helps you get a little bit farther in your pet arena. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content, and a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.